And hello together, welcome to the very first lessons of the aggressive inline basic tutorials. Should you not know what aggressive inline skating is, it is trick inline skating with tricks like jumps, airs, stalls, grinds, slides, flips and many more. And aggressive inline is used at skate parks as well as at different street spots like an ordinary stair, a flat rail, a handrail and others. But there are some basics you should be able to do before learning tricks at a skate park. And one of the most important and most basic skills of aggressive inline is being comfortable while skating at a skate park and different ramps. And that's it, what we will learn in this video. First I will show you the different ramps and objects a skate park typically has, as well as explain you their names. After that we will learn together how to skate on these objects and how to become familiar with them. We will become comfortable skating different ramps to overcome our fear and how to do that safely. We start with the first object, the fun box. A fun box mostly builds the core of a skate park. And a fun box is built of multiple and different objects. In our case, the fun box consists of a quarter pipe, a bank, a pyramid and a small grind box. A quarter pipe is an object which has a rounded surface of about 90 degrees to skate up and skate down. A bank is an object which has a sloping surface. A pyramid is an object which consists of two sloping surfaces called banks that are connected by an upper surface. And a grind box is ordinary an oblong box with a small surface. The edges or copings of the surface are used for grinds. And that's why it is called grind box. Here you can see a manual box. A manual box is an oblong and right surface without any ramps. Similar to its name, it's used for manuals, wheelies, as well as for grinds. A mini ramp is a low half pipe, which is no higher than about 2.5 meters. It consists of two single pipes of each side and has a flat surface between of them. A mini ramp is called a half pipe when the single pipes are completely vertical, as well as higher than about 3 meters. A jump box is nearly a quarter pipe with an upper surface to jump over. The landing surface is mostly in a both rounded bank. So jump boxes are used for huge airs and flips. And lastly, we have the rails. They are redistinguished between low flat rails and higher handrails. And of course, there are many other objects, for example spines. But for this video, the shown objects should be enough. More objects will be shown on the aggressive inliner trans tutorials. And now let's begin learning our first steps at a skate park. For that we will learn how to become familiar with the most important ramps and objects so that we will be able to skate on all of them. For that we start on the lowest object of the skate park. And as you can see we start with a sloping surface called bank. To get a feel for this surface we begin by skating slow. We skate as high and as far as possible and then we skate back backwards. We repeat it as often as necessary until we reach the top of the object. And to master this exercise, we will roll back backwards from the object's top. For practicing, we can also try to reach the middle or the end of the ramp. There we can stand sideways, turn and drive back forwards. But think about, for the beginning the surface should not be too steep. And now we come to a problem, the fear. So should we have fear, we may wear our protectors to fall deliberately and intentionally to slip down the ramp. For this we use our knee and elbow pads. If we aren't scared, we also should do that. So we will overcome our fear of falling. And yes, all of these steps apply for other objects as well. While we practice skating at a skate park, we always think about and keep in mind the proper posture for skating. This we have already learned from the fitness inline basics. If you don't remember, that means we always keep one foot in front of the other foot, as well as keep our knees bent. And that is very important in order to maintain your balance. If we lose our balance in the front, we adjust by moving our leading skate more forward. If we lose our balance in the back, we adjust by moving our trailing skate further back. And so the risk of fall is very low. Well, when skating over the edge, at the bottom and the top, try to pull up your front wheels. In this way you can maintain speed and moreover, skating up is much easier. But hey, pull up only your front wheels. 
but don't jump. So now we are up and now we have to go down. To go down there are multiple possibilities. The first one, stand at the edge or coping and lock up with the cruise, in the middle between of your wheels. Then shift your weight to the front and put one scale more forward. Bend your knees and skate down by just running down. Well, should we skate down a pipe, there is nothing more to consider. But should we skate down a bank, think about the edge at the end of the ramp. You have to keep apart your feet a little bit more. And this technique is called drop-in. In the further tutorial of the series, we will take a detailed look at a drop-in, at a sit-in, as well as the jump-in. And well, at this point we should know how to become familiar with banks and pipes, as well as how to skate them. Lastly, please remember. The steeper the surfaces of banks, the more you must bend your knees and the more we keep our skates apart. And think about, while skating over the edges and the steeper the surfaces, the more you have to pull up your front wheels. Let's take a look at another object, the manual box. A manual box is an object to jump up into manuals but you can also grind on a manual box and do spins. And please remember, this video is just for aggressive inline beginners. For this reason, we will just learn how to jump up and go down, so we are able to use this object. How to jump we already learned from the fitness inline basic tutorials. Should you not know how to jump, so please watch the how to jump tutorial from the fitness inline basic tutorials. Well, for jumping onto the object, we skate slower and keep the proper position. And we will remember, just jump up and do not jump forward. While jumping up, we pay attention that we jump with our skates simultaneously. We bend our knees deeper and gain momentum with our arms. Then we push off as strong as we can to jump as high as we need. And while landing, we also keep our knees bent as well as keeping the proper position. And don't forget, while skating, Always remember the proper position. And jump down of the manual box, we do in the same way as we did it by jumping up. But if you don't want to jump down, just pull up your front wheels while skating down. In this way we weren't stuck with our crews and we are able to just roll down. <music> Lastly we will take a look at the mini ramp. The mini ramp is the most best object to learn the basics for skating pipes. There we can easily learn the proper posture step by step. And while we do that, we automatically become familiar with other pipes. We build needed muscles rapidly and lose fear of our first low pipes. For practicing at first, we have to gain momentum. It doesn't matter how we do it. Go up as far as possible and allow yourself to skate back backwards. With that I mean just roll back backwards. At the other side, try to go up backside as known as fakey and skate down forwards. So if you didn't stop yet, you can harness the remaining momentum to skate up forward again. Go up as far as possible and allow yourself to skate back backwards. Repeat this motion until you lose remaining momentum completely. And while doing that, keep in mind the proper position. In the moment we feel comfortable doing so, we try to also use our arms to gain momentum. And lastly we also try to push and pump so we don't lose speed while skating on the mini ramp. The best practicing is to try to skate as long as we can until our muscles get tired. And with pumping I mean to gain momentum while going up and going down. While going up the pipe, try to bend your knees a little bit more and then push up your feet to the front as far as possible and use your arms to gain momentum too. While skating back backwards, push off the pipe with your knees and feet and think about to remain in the proper position. In principle, skating and pumping backwards is the same as forwards. And it's clear we won't become a pro within seconds, but with these exercises I want you get a feel for pipes. It will help you to get better fastly and it can be also used for other pipes. And if you want to know more, a more detailed look at pushing and pumping on a mini ramp as well as to go faster and faster and skate up and down, we will learn from a further video of this series. And that means at this point we have reached the end of this video. And well done, I wish you a good time and much fun for practicing. And hey, if you want, you may support this channel and me. Just check out the video description. Thanks for all. Have fun, see you guys next time.